Hello and welcome to Michael's Homes HD, Prince Edward Island's number one source for high definition real estate video. Good day everyone, Michael Posnick, Century 21 Northumberland, your high definition real estate agent marketing your property socially and globally. Today I have an extra special treat for you. It's a house I sold many years ago and it was later featured in the New York Times just for being very interesting and amazing for Prince Edward Island in Atlantic Canada. Uh, a few weeks ago I had a professional film crew come by and they did a pilot project video on this home for a TV show that one day may go national. So let's go take a look. Hello, I'm Jordan Hibson, and this is Established Home. Hello, Ted. Jordan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to Prince Edward Island, welcome to Alberton, and welcome to my home. Thank Let's you. go inside. Well, as you know, Ted, first impressions are very important, uh, and definitely walking into this house, you get a great one. So why don't you tell us all about the foyer and take us on a tour of the rest of the house. Come on, I'd love to. Um, the foyer is a pretty standard foyer. We have a staircase here that goes up to the second floor. Up above you here stands a 140 pound chandelier that I brought from, from Atlanta uh, when I was moving up here. The other things that are here, there's a Maasai shield here that they used when they were going to war. It closes up and opens back up. The red is supposed to scare the warriors who are coming uh, to them. Uh, and these are some uh, not terribly old but interesting wall hangings that they have up here that have been framed and they're African fabrics mm -hmm. hanging on the uh, on the wall. Perfect, I think you're adding a lot of impact by putting the big pieces on the wall. You know, you've got the big piece on this wall, this wall, and then two behind us, as well as the giant chandelier and the lovely stained glass. So I think you're definitely getting perfect impact from that. Good. And this as well. I am so envious of this. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna have to try to get my hands on there one of those. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Good, well, uh, to this side we have the kitchen, this side we have the living room, and the little dining rooms through there. So which one would you like to start well, with? Well, let's start with the kitchen. Well, let's go to the kitchen then. <laughs> Okay, Jordan, this is the kitchen. Um, it's a fairly big kitchen. It used to be small, but I expanded it. I took out a wall and made some changes. But as you can see, I feel like having different items around really helps make it more homey rather than just a, an empty room. So we have things. This is a piece of African art that I brought back from one of my trips over there. Over here we have some art that comes from Santa Fe, New Mexico. It's an artist who is resident over, um, over there. Um, behind us we have got a, uh, a set of shutters that came from a, somebody's home actually in the Cameroon um, and they didn't have glass in the window so they used these as the shutters to keep the bugs out at night. Over on the wall there you have got a mask which comes from Bali um, that I got when I was there once. 
Um, and in here we have got a variety of different things. We have the island that has a granite counter on it. I like it because it can move. It's sitting on felt, so you can sort of move it around wherever you want it to go. Some parts of this home that I really want to make mention to, especially in this kitchen, are the lovely double doors um, on each of the entryway doors. And then we also have the luxuries of home um, in this big, beautiful barn kitchen. We have the double ovens, which is nice, um, and the big uh, French door fridge with the pull-out um, freezer, and like you said, the beautiful island. As you can see, uh, this room is definitely a very unique shape, um, and this house is actually based off of another significant home, so why don't you tell us all about that? Yes, this house was designed to look like Mount Vernon, which was uh, uh, the first president of the United States, his home in Mount Vernon, uh, Virginia. And so the outside looks exactly like it. These curved rooms here are an adaptation of the porticos that go from the main house to what was in fact the kitchen in the old house. And on the other side, it goes from the main house to the guest house here, but that was the slave quarters that they had for some of the people, the family slaves rather than the field mm -hmm. slaves. So it has a, a fairly unique angle, and I just use it to display items of art that I picked up around. So why don't we go check out the living room? Good. Let's get a little background on this house, Ted. So how many bedrooms are in the, in the house? Okay, there, th when I bought the house, there were two bedrooms and one bathroom. Uh, now there are six bedrooms and six bathrooms. Perfect, and the, and the property is about 21 years old? The property is a little over 21 years old and it's just under 30 acres. Perfect, and there is how many bathrooms and how many fireplaces in the house? Um, there are six bathrooms and there are just two fireplaces okay, in the house. Lovely. Um, and uh, there were three, but I took one out when I moved in that was up in the master bedroom. Well, you don't often see more than one, so it's nice to even have the two. That's right. <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of the formal living room, uh, which means no television, you know, a sit-down area for everyone to really enjoy the company of each other. So these doors actually hide a nice big television behind them, and we mentioned earlier with the double ovens, it really brings luxuries into this barn home. Um, and again, you can quickly close them, and you have a formal living room again, or you have the nice big TV to watch any of your favorite uh, television shows on. So one of my favorite parts of this whole property is uh, the old style guest house. So why don't you take us on a little tour of the guest house? Good. Let's go this way. So I know you're not originally from PEI and you often have your friends uh, come to visit you um, and they have the luxury of staying in this guest house. Uh, so why don't you tell, tell us all about uh, the lovely guest house, the different rooms it has, and starting with this foyer and that gorgeous pump organ. Okay. Um, uh, when I got the house, this was not this was here in form, but not in fact. Okay. There was no electricity, there wasn't plumbing, there wasn't heating, there wasn't anything else. So as I was changing different parts of the house, we decided to build out this. The bookcase behind you was where in, was in the living room and I wanted more light so in order to get a, a window I took out the bookcase and just had them relocated here. We have a pump organ over here which is an old uh, organ and I got this from the local Anglican church when they got a brand new organ. Um, they had this one so they had an auction and I decided that I would get it. It's been electrified but I took the electric part off just to move it snugly against the door. Um, so this is the main room. It also hides the fact that I put a laundry under the stairs here for guests so they can do their laundry when they're here and hopefully do their sheets and pillowcases before they leave. Hopefully. Well, wouldn't you like to be a guest of a guest home where you get your own laundromat, a seating area, two bedrooms, and there's two bathrooms in this guest house as well. Right. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. 
this house is as beautiful inside as it is outside. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at michaelshomeshd.com and my weekly newsletter at michaelshomes.com. Thank you, have a great day, and remember to buy it right. Hi there, Michael. I love your videos. You demand, boy, you demand.